Okay, so in this video, what we're going to be doing is just seeing how uh, this mouse does against the trap. So you notice now it's just what I did, I scattered some bait around at, at the entrance just for it to grab. So what it's going to be doing at the beginning is just grabbing the bait and obviously eating it. And so it's just, you know, just so let it know that there's, you know, some food to get and to make it more interested in what's in there. But the important thing is when you scatter the bait around, you mustn't put too much because if it fills its um, stomach, then it has to then go away and wait for it to digest. So you mustn't put so much bait there that its stomach fills up. You have to just scatter a little bit so that it knows that the, the big the big stuff is waiting for it at the end so I was just going to explain that this is the new next generation trap and as you can see with the parts that are visible I've updated it with that proper wire which is heat shrinked so this is like the next generation because the problem with the old trap is the wires were a bit loose and so what I found was happening is that the, sometimes the, wi the wires would disconnect when I was moving, moving the sort of electronics around. So now everything's been soldered up solidly. And you see it's going in, but this time, yeah, you think it might go, but no, it's just, it's just doing a bit of investigating and it's gone again. So as you see now, it's, it knows the food is at the end, but it's trying to see if it can get to that food from behind. So it's just having a quick look, you know, around the back of the trap, just to see. And like I was saying, this trap is, um, I designed it more for convenience because the problem with the previous trap is that it was too, it was too big and so carrying it was difficult. So I wanted something that I could carry with one hand. So, so that's the important thing about this one. And also I wanted a trap which I could put into a bag quite easily as well. And you know, where I could put it in a bag and then put it into a backpack rather than having to carry a separate bag with the trap in it. Okay, so you can see it's Yeah, so it's, it's checked the back out so it couldn't find anything. Yeah, so now it's back to the front again. And I was just saying with the trap, you can see that there's certain things about the way it's, it's been designed. All right, so now it's going in and bam. So now when you see how it got trapped, you might think to yourself that somehow the mouse stood, stood a chance. But, as, but we'll actually find out if that's the case. So here's a slow motion version. So that's a ninja leap. That's why I call it ninja mouse because it does the ninja jump. And then when it lands after doing, so it moves around and then watch this. So now the trap is triggered and notice the trap is down and the mouse is only halfway across. So essentially it looks as if the mouse might have stood a chance, but the reality of it is, is that the mouse stood no chance because the door, the trap was down when the mouse was about halfway across. So it, even though it looked as if the mouse could have made it, it just didn't have any chance. So now it's gonna do a few ninja leaps. So it's gonna go up to, try to jump up the front, spin back, and then drop down, then it run, jumps to the front. And it's gonna do another one, see if it's still slow. That means you're going to do another leap. So it's just checking the... Yeah, those are the small ones. So I didn't bother to slow that down. So now it's going to do another super leap. So it's going to jump, bounce off the wall, and then drop down, and then the super leap to the front. And it's going to drop down, and that's... I think that's it for the... Yeah, that's it for now. So that's why I was calling it Ninja Mouse because of all the ninja moves it was doing. But the main thing was that ninja jump that it did at the beginning. And so like I was saying, with the um, 
with this trap you can see that obviously it is a prototype because when you look at the way that I've used that the clear tape to tape everything together and the reason it should be obvious why I, what use perspect because if I had just used some black plastic then of course there'd be no video to watch so the perspex is there obviously so that you can see the mouse in, inside it and as you can see the, the, the trap is pretty solid so the main you know, the mouse is giving it a try but it knows that it just can't get through any of the gaps that are there and the reason why it's trying the side is because it looks like there's a gap but what the mouse knows is that if his nose isn't going to get through all right yes i just speeded this up so this is just the um all its attempts to try to get out and what you'll find is that all this time that it's spending trying to dig its way out it's not going to make any progress because this perspex is solid and you can see the other mouse in the background as well and the thing about it is that see this other mouse is watching this ninja mouse in the trap so you'd think that the other mouse would somehow learn that this is a trap but what you're going to find out is that that's not not what mice are like so as you can see it's busy trying to mostly dig its way out but it's not making any difference and yeah so now the time's finally come for it to to be dealt with all right so now i've just moved the moving the electronics out of the way so that I can get um, get everything ready. Right, so there it is. Now we see the color version. And we see old ninja mouse is there. But it's interesting that when a mouse is a ninja, that it it does a job when everything's quiet. But the minute a human shows up, the mouse is just still. And that's just what mice are like. That you know, when the when the big predators are in town, the mouse is just supposed to stay still. And even if the enemy is right on top of it, it's still supposed to stay still. Yeah, so I'm just trying to get. This is one thing about this trap, though. It has to say, though, is that it does take a bit of preparation. And so yeah, so now I managed to get the mouse. And uh, yeah, I was going to say, as you can see, this is obviously a magnetic confinement edition again, because there's no way I was going to sort of not have it with the magnets holding the bottom on, because that's just too convenient. And as you can see, it's it's solidly in there, because essentially the way this, because I've used perspex all around, the mouse isn't digging its way out of anything, and. Those magnets, they're pretty strong. And you might you might think that, you know, you might be worried about holding it up by the top and that maybe the bottom will flex and maybe it'll drop. But no, all the time that I've been using these particular neodymium magnets, they've never let go and they're, they're pretty strong. And of course, the mouse has got zero chance of separating the top and bottom because it just doesn't have the strength. And you, you, you know, you can see that as a prototype, it actually does a pretty good job. You might as well say that it's a it's a production level sort of prototype mousetrap. And one thing's for sure, it does do the job because you can just witness that directly. And that it's a fully solid trap. And the, the other important thing is that I wanted to make sure that it's a trap that the mouse couldn't... Um, uh, injure itself with where it's when it's trying to escape because I know some traps are like that so now this is this is the part where I'm showing you know that why I designed the trap this way and that is for transport so notice I can hold it in one hand because the other big drawer was big so holding it in one hand is a bit tiring even though it isn't that heavy but this, because of how small, smaller and light it is, it's easy to hold in one hand. And if necessary, I can hold it by the top as well, as you saw before. And it's very easy to carry. 
and also the good thing about it is because I use the two millimeter perspex when you're holding it there's no flexibility so I can hold it from the bottom and the plastic will not flex at all and, and like I say before as well the um, because of our solid the um, is put together the mouse isn't even trying to get out so it's as if the mouse is confirming that this trap is solid and that there's no point even trying to make an attempt and also if you look at the back you can see there's, there's magnets at the back and what I do is I'll let you see what they're for because like I say when I designed this trap it was it's like a comprehensive design I thought of all the inconveniences of the previous one and thought about how could I fix them in this one and you know what changes could I make in order to make it more convenient and yeah it's still got problems um, like the hardest part is obviously getting the plastic underneath and that 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 can be solved but I just haven't got around to that and the main reason for that is being that as I've been doing the um, you know been you, the trap has been catching the mice the fact that it does the job is kind of like enough for me and because I don't have that many mice to deal with, obviously if, if a place was infested and it had a hundred mice to deal with and you, and you had like, I don't know, 20 traps or something, then yeah, now I would have to try to sort the problem of how to get the plastic underneath and design it better so that that part of it is easier. But for the time being, because of how I'm not having to deal with that many mice, I just thought I might as well just leave it and so I was just going to say this part is just where I'm going to release it because I made sure that it's somewhere far away and also in the woods as well I mean obviously the mouse is going to try and get out but this, this woods is, is isn't too near where the mouse was trapped and there's plenty of houses in between and I'm going to presume that any house which is near the woods they're going to make sure that they um, have got their house sealed up properly right so here we are so we finally got to the destination so now you get to see what the back part of the trap <coughs> is all about So, all I have to do is just, just basically pull it back and that's it. The trap is open, it's as easy as that. So I don't have to, see the previous trap I had to slide the bottom. And notice the mouse is in shock so it doesn't even realise that the, the, it, the, the gap is open. So now I have to try and convince it that it can escape. So now it's slowly waking up and finally you can see it. And he's, he's checking the freedom out and then he's gone. It's as simple as that. And you see, when you, if you look at the previous videos, yeah, see, so now all I have to do is just split the bottom and then empty it out. And of course, all the food is biodegradable, but. And that's it, so it just jumps back on. I've got to remember the back as well. Yeah. I think I lost the back part. I've got to find that.